Welcome to Reasons to Hope. Happy Easter. Happy birthday to me. Yes, it's my birthday. And I was born on Easter many, many years ago in the small town of Akron, Ohio. I came into the world and my parents gave me the middle name of Hope, which is why I'm so glad to be here with you looking for Reasons to Hope today in our 14th week. I am really happy to be sharing a little bit of my personal story on rootandvinenews.com. You can go there today under Reasons to Hope and see the entry for this week, plus some ideas of ways that we can continue to encourage each other as we write the Book of Hope together, writing our daily five gratitudes, getting together every Monday here on Instagram to share what's giving us reasons to hope. And there's so many reasons to hope right now. Spring is here. Easter is such a beautiful weekend to think of hope and the embodiment of hope and resurrection and all of the things in our lives these days that can be transformed and renewed and given a second chance at life. It's also a really exciting time because we are launching a new episode of Our Story, Our Song. So if you haven't gone over to Root and Vine on YouTube, and you can find that at rootandvinenews.com, and checked out the new Michael Ricks episode, episode three of Our Story, Our Song. You've got to do that. It's so inspiring. He's literally standing in a river with his banjo playing songs of hope. And I am just so grateful to get to be part of the series and get to meet these amazing artists. We are going to do a bit of uh, behind the scenes with Michael a little later this month. So look out for that. Make sure that you are following us on Instagram and you can always find all of the Our Story, Our Song videos at rootandvinenews.com. I believe that Michael might be joining us, but I don't see him on here yet. So just make sure you check out his episode and if he hops in, I might call him up. What is giving you reason to hope today? Christina, Greg, Kzub, it's so good to have you here. Drop something in the chat. Let me hear what's going on. Julie, Chamberlain, so good to see you. As we wait for Michael Ricks, hopefully he can make it. I know he's having some technical difficulties. Um, I will share a little bit of my story about uh, being named Hope, having Hope as my middle name. So my dad was a truck driver and he got into town and at the very last minute and my mom was in the hospital and I was their first kid and so they had no idea what they were doing and apparently my dad ran out the door and like Rocky style just chugged like six raw eggs, disgusting, on his way to the hospital, got there, they were like, what should we name her? And apparently they had this idea that they were going to name me Katie Hope, but my mom got nervous last minute and thought that that wasn't formal enough of a name for two Jesus Freak hippies who were like, you know, in their early 20s and had no idea what they were doing. So they named me Kathleen Hope and sent me on a quest to look for reasons to hope for my entire life. Because I think when you live with the middle name of Hope, it's sort of something that you embody, but it also is so close to me that I don't necessarily always know what it means because hope is so complex. I think hope is needed most in the dark. Hope is, hope is what gets us through, but hope can also be terrifying because hope can set us up for disappointment. I remember growing up, my grandma was always like, you know, don't get your hopes up. Or she would joke and call me Kathleen Hopeless, which I really didn't like. But I think that part of what I want to do with you as we write the book of hope together is really figure out what is hope? It's my middle name, but how does hope manifest in your life? How is hope different from optimism? How is hope something that doesn't disappoint? Like it says in the Bible, we are looking for a hope that does not disappoint. And so I think for me, it's my middle name. I'm here with you to figure out what exactly it is, how it's manifesting. I see Greg says being able to have an in-person family time over Easter is giving him reasons to hope. I love that. So powerful. First Easter egg hunt with my 18 month old. Oh my gosh. So sweet. I hope she found all of the Easter eggs, but I have a feeling you might've had to help her. Thank you, Chamberlain SN. Your birthday makes me happy and hopeful. You guys are so sweet. I don't know if Michael Ricks is here. Uh, it does not appear that he has arrived. So I'm just gonna give you 
a big plug again. You gotta check out our story, our song, see his episode. He's a banjo artist from Nashville. He actually sings a song in the episode called Have Hope, and it's given me so much hope. I also um, want to remind you that you can post throughout the week reasons to hope, hashtag reasons to hope on social media to share what's giving you hope. Uh, I'm going to read to you a poem because I was planning on asking Michael Rick some questions, but since it's my birthday and he is probably not able to join us, um, I'll read you this poem that I just find so inspiring and it's called Turning. And I think as I'm thinking of turning another year old, um, I'm thinking of all the reasons I have to be grateful for family and friends and hope and for you. Oh, and also you guys, my sister threw a surprise birthday party for me this weekend in the middle of the country, like in a barn with a huge bonfire and people came all the way from New York City, like near and dear ones that I haven't, I haven't seen anyone in the past year. And I was completely surprised and it was, just so much love like i think that the love that i felt this weekend really pretty much broke my heart because by the time everyone was gone i just cried but it was the best it was the best experience and i'm so very grateful so that's what gives me reason to hope this weekend and right now is just the love of so many friends and family and and the community that we're creating here so this is called turning it's by ws merwin I used to really want to be a librarian. Do you remember when you were little and you would go to the library or maybe like in kindergarten and the, the um, teacher would read the book and then she would show you the pages? Like, anyway, it just seemed like such a fun thing to do. Okay, so now I'm totally improvising. This is called Turning. Thank you again for being here and I'm so excited to be celebrating my birthday with you. Turning. Going too fast for myself, I missed more than I think I can remember. Almost everything it seems, sometimes, and yet there are chances that come back. That I did not notice when they stood where I could have reached out and touched them. This morning, the black Belgian shepherd dog, still young, looking up and saying, are you ready this time? All right. I want to hear from you this week. Hashtag reasons to hope. You can go to rootandbynews.com to read my birthday reflections. Thank you for celebrating my birthday with me. Please watch the Michael Ricks, our story, our song episode. And I will see you right back here next Monday with another special guest, 3 p.m. Eastern. Thank you guys. I love you.